Bloody chores. Yeah, you're done with your job. Your job. Three coins for a curse, not why. Four coins for a curse, eight coins for a curse. Mind, mind, mind. No, nope. animals. Send. Oh no, that was the bag. Ew. He's gonna get me some seeds. Strife? Oh, there's a strife guy. Get out of here. Calamity, you mind? Why? Meaningless. Meaningless. I mean, there's probably specific people I should be sending each time, but... Because that guy gives me more sins than the others. God bless, Yegor Yevlampovich, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. I came for you, Vasilisa. I'll get you to Pokcha. And you, Yegor Yevlampovich, will get to Vilgorod. Get ready. I wait for you at the gates. Okay, I'm ready. Set off. Farewell to beauty. The wedding day starts with a long ceremony. Well, we're taking the kitty and we're setting off. We're up to 19 sin. You reach the bride's izba with the light of dawn. The changeling girl sits under the icons and starts a long ritual of saying farewell to the maidenly headband. The bridesmaids chant, Ujjasyaduka Maladyoshinka. The bride hands out red satin ribbons to everyone. The bride gives the prettiest one to you. Thank you. The ritual drags on, and the guests have yet to arrive. The sounds of the last wailings quiet down close to the evening. The bridesmaids begin dressing the bride in the wedding gown, and you decide to look once more for cursed items in the yard while waiting for the guests. Uh, while the lamenting is taking place, I should check the courtyard again and get rid of any new curses. Okay, so we want beans. We want... You go down into the yard. It Bull. looks empty and grim without wedding guests. Not surprising. This roof was home to an evil spirit for many years. You jump from a sudden rustling. You think you heard it coming from one of the haystacks. But which one? Was it the chicken? What came first, the chicken or the curse? Was the noise coming from this haystack or the other one? Was the noise coming from this haystack or the other one? In the dry grass, you find your old acquaintances lying in wait and grab them both by the scruff of their necks. Kill on the boy. Let me go. Vasya, you again. What are you planning here? Sorry, Vasya. We were trying to ambush an evil Kaldun, not you. Someone has been here for sure. We've been watching all night and saw it. He sneaked in and planted an ikota on the wedding. Oh, Christ in heaven! Not an ikota! It's alright. I'll protect you. Kaldun's have no business cursing weddings. What Kaldun did you see? He sneaked in at night. Satan himself. I swear by God. You say everyone's Satan. The gates opened by themselves. And the autumn seals were flying around. It means shorts were moving it. And he himself didn't look like a Kaldun. He was dressed as a townsperson. He started to whisper. It was so fast and so frightening. It was so dark. We almost couldn't see anything. He likely won't find it by herself. Stop whistling. This flute must be good against the Kaldun's. So he ran. And we decided to change a hiding spot in case he'd be back. And you came. What did that Kaldun do? He whispered a lot and did something with his ants. I think he was scattering cursed items. We'll help you find them, Vasya. She likely won't find it by herself. Let's All go. Right. If you want to help, go right ahead. Bitka, look in this haystack for a peapot with nine peas. You, Akulina, look in that haystack. And I'll search the yard. All clear? Clear. You likely won't find it without us. All right, Miss Lisa. Okay. I mean, let's check out the floor. You check the chest. Inspect the floor. To your horror, you find a patch of burned dog hair. You remove it with a zagavar and throw it away in disgust. Ugh. The chest contains snowy white bed sheets for the newlyweds. They must be given to the house of the groom once you go to the izba. You cut into the lining and, to your horror, find something furry inside. 
You find a dried bear paw that emanates dark sorcery. You hide this new artifact in your bag, as if against your will. The chest contains snowy white bed sheets for the newlyweds. They must be given to the house of the groom once you go to... Suddenly, Petka calls out to you. I wanted to change my item. Just wait a second, Petka. Strength and status cast by two. Strength and status cast by three. Oh, what if I get rid of... Defense page is one. I'll get rid of the healing. We don't heal that often, and we'll do that. So our curse was now strengthened by five. Because that reduces damage by one, right? Decreases damage by two. Oh. It means because it's three. I found it, I think. I too found some traces of the curse. You and I both have some. That's a lot. What do you have, Aquilina? Huh? <gasps> well, it doesn't matter if you don't have any. I found some Vasa, also a pod. Quite a few curses. Powerful Kuldun is involved here. The children look at each other worrisomely. Give me those pods. Who knows what else is our enemy capable of? Curse? Will he summon Chorts? Mortal threat. You jump from a sudden knock at the gates. The children run inside the house, screaming. Hey, open the gates. The foreign merchants have arrived. Demand the ransom. After several minutes of bargaining, you open the gates. Go get your bride upstairs. I need to speak to the master of ceremonies. You seem alarmed, Vasilisa. I found so many cursed things right now. Someone powerful is trying to curse this wedding. You tell old Yegor about your discoveries. I found two pods and burnt dog hair and a whole bear paw. You can stop the wedding now. But why? Wait. <laughs> I'll tell Nikolai. Old Yegor forcefully grabs your arm. Hold there. Do you want to spoil their wedding? If you stop the procession right now, their whole life could go sideways. Yes, but what if we're stopped on our way down the aisle? No one knows how all these curses turn out. That's your task, Matchmaker. To guard the procession against it. If it stops, then yes. Only God knows what will happen. Don't bother the betrothed. Do your job, and I will do mine. We'll teach Fetchka some Zagavars. He may learn something yet. All right, Grandpa. Let's go. We need to bless them on their way. All the guests gather in the Izba. After the blessings of Nikolai and his bride, the procession departs to Vilgort, to the Church of the Trinity. Moving on up. The departures are complete. It's time to get going. This girl sure is lucky, right? <sighs> yes, you can return from another world. She wouldn't have done it by herself. We helped her. So is the case with the other dead. They can't get back by themselves. So Koya wouldn't pull her out without you, right? Without me or Grandpa, unlikely. You know, I've been thinking. In a way, you also pulled me out from the grave. If you didn't come that night to the pothouse, Shirts would have killed me. Yes, I think that's how it happened. I've heard what the girls in Vilgar have been saying. That you didn't want to become a witch. But you did become one, right? And so I've been thinking. You did it to help your betrothed. Why would you think that? You and your grandpa are taking me for a fall. But I see lots of things. The dead men can't go back by themselves, right? I visited lots of evening gatherings. I saw how much you loved him. So I think you decided. Vasa, stop this nonsense. Nothing good will come of it. Mm. He'll come back as an undead you or a demon. That girl, but she never died. She was kidnapped, right? I was quite close to being dead. But she betrothed. Is dead. Buried. Quit running your mouth. You don't understand anything. Wait. Don't be angry. I'm not joking. I came close to seeing the afterlife. There's no coming back from there. 
and your chores constantly beg you for work, right? So how many people have you cursed already? Nineteen, based by my sins. N not so many. And what's next? Sooner or later, they'll get hungrier and hungrier, and start dragging our souls to the grave. I've listened closely to many stories. Your chores will also drag you to hell, along with who knows how many peasants. Uh, agree. You may be right. The chorts constantly ask for work. If I give them some slack, they'll ruin everything they see. But what else can I do? You're saying my chorts will be the death of me. You can know my fate, and you don't know his fate. That's right. I don't. But I decided to make my own fate. So I'm gonna change your fate. You have your fate. You heard the Troika. So that's your fate. Maybe it wasn't a trick. But I have a different fate. You remember how I stole from the shop? It wasn't the first time. I've done lots of similar things. I think maybe I should quit this kind of life. Start a household. I know it's not as fun or exciting. You saved me. So I wanted to ask your advice. You were nowhere after all. What do you think? Uh, agree. Well, Fietka, I've always told you to abandon your life of pleasure. All right, I'll try. Old habits die hard. Next thing you'll know, I have my own household. You better remember these words of yours. I will. I'm not old enough to have a bad memory. Fedka grins and flings the reins. Pakcha village is surrounded by mist, and the road to Vilgert lies ahead of you. You think that if someone wanted this wedding ruined, he wouldn't be stopped this easily. You look around anxiously and prepare for the worst. Oh. Cold Creek. This spring, crossing the road, it would be easier to stop the procession here. What? The winding path lures you in with a damp mist and mysterious shadows. What spirits hide behind them? Soon, you get to Cold Creek Ford. Yours and the bride's carts cross the water with a splash, but the third cart isn't so lucky. One of the wheels hits a stone and all its passengers fall overboard. You look around and notice demon eyes in the dark. Fedka gives you a questioning look. What should you do with the rest of the guests? Uh, hop up and help. You hop off the cart and open the black book. Fedka passes the reins and hops off too. You need to depart as soon as possible so as not to fall behind the wedding procession. The musician tries to help fix the cart, but you have something else to deal with. A swarm of chorts flies out of the darkness. Oh no. The carts are gone. Even the third... Oh no, there we go. Here, it flipped over completely. George, don't father. Uh, Moon Brothers? Uh, yeah? That one? Nava, that one? Actually, let's reverse that. Noon Brothers, that one. Nava, that one. Uh, one second forever, and a block from the kitty. Look. Look. One second forever. Kitty block. Flip. Cool. I'm gonna take one damage, you feck. Ow. Take a this. What was Ward for? Okay. The cart is finally fixed, and you quickly catch up to the procession. The peasants didn't see the shorts, but they noticed you whispering Zagabers. Now they are looking at you and your book with respect. Yay! Oh, we've got another 16. Near the Crooked Forest. While we were busy with the wedding, the Cordine could have taken advantage of the Crooked Forest. It's gonna be wool in here. The wedding train reaches the shadows of the gloomy trees of the Crooked Forest. Strange sounds escape the evening darkness. It appears the mysterious Khaldun cursed this road as well. I don't have three horses and that one has one. Let's more people on it. Your suspicions prove correct. Although you have known this forest since you were a child, 
The road meets a fork that you have no memory of. Looks like the turn on the right is used more often than the one to the left. Turn left. You don't recognize the last fork either. The road to the left looks like it's submerged in darkness, and you see some moonlight above the road to the right. Turn to the left. Your suspicions prove correct. Although you have known this forest since you were a child, the road meets a fork that you have no memory of. Looks like the turn on the right is used more often than the one to the left. Turn to the left. You don't recognize the last fork either. Turn to the right. At another fork. The road to the left lies through a thick forest, and to the right you see a clearing amongst the trees. This to the road left. goes back, but it is overgrown with firs. You don't notice you don't recognize the last fork either. The road to, to the, the right. Arrive at another fork. To the right. Finally, the forest is behind you. Vilgert is close, so you decide to take a break. Okay, that was random. I was like, maybe I want to pick the bad ones to avoid the good ones a trick. Crossroads of Haunted Place. You've been here a thousand times. Mikhail's crossroads look unfamiliar. You feel as if you have entirely lost your sense of direction. You can't tell north from south. It's as if you are standing at this crossroads for the first time. You decide to resort to sorcery. You quickly whisper the words of the Zagavar and listen. You hear sounds of bells from your left, sound of axe to your right, and the morning for a while ahead. What road should you take? Bing bells. Yes. You chose the right way. You make no mistake in choosing the road. This task is right down your alley. The road to Vilgert passes by uneventfully, and you have a chance to rest. Looks like this is the last piece of the road to the Church of the Trinity. Well, that was good. We're nearly at the church. We haven't heard this. Vasilisa, stop the procession. Alexander, we can't. It's a bad omen. I suppose I can hide it now. No time to argue. I intend to curse your wedding procession, and I'm willing to see it through. What? Are you telling me that everything you do is based on science? I can't leave it be, but only if you give me the book. Uh, why? But why do you need to ruin the wedding? It's simple. I can take the side effect only if you're sufficiently weakened. If the procession stops, the curse may splash out. Only God knows what should happen then. Right. You're only saying this so I wouldn't interfere. No such thing will happen. Listen to me. This is dangerous. Very dangerous. You can't scare me, Vasilisa. Either give me the book or the procession stop. So that's how it is in your world. Always plain pretend. You could have helped me with the snake that time. I wanted to, but you were doing fine on your own, and I wanted to see what kind of witch you were. I did. I think you're as powerful as me. I don't want to hurt anyone. I just need the book. You know about this? What do you need it for? What are you planning? Don't stall, Vasilisa. Fight me. Listen. Let me wed this couple, and then we can fight. Why involve the bride and groom? You won't trick me, Vasilisa. I came especially prepared for this fight. Now when there's a curse around us, we are equal. Okay. I can't give you the book. You know that. Then it's the only way. Defense to us! Cute little book you got there. Does it come in men's? <laughs> Bam! Wait, style, which means I can't do a bless, which means I gotta go Arousey. Ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da -ba. What's he doing? Okay, he's got cool Dean, because first, if he has less words in his bow, yeah. And he's got minions. He's only doing two damage, so maybe I don't want to play that. Damn it. He's playing a two word book. Or a three word. He's getting ten armor. Shit. He's got 200 HP. Shit. Um. Bam. Rahali. Arazi. Green Veen. Yeah, I do like them. What about these two people just 
riding in a straight line. What's he doing? He's summoning and doing five damage. Well, it's kitty cat block. And let's go. Bam, bam, bam. Damn it, he only plays two word pages, little bitch. Okay, summon a minion. Bam, bam. Reja. Sticky. Wah. Wah. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. Well, we definitely want to dive up. How much is this going to do? Six. Ketan. Sea of Depth. We'll just pull out. Pull out. Dun 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 he does a one. He's cursed. Wait, did I target that on? Okay, I did. Sticky minus 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 thirty-three. Feck you, buddy. He does a one. Cool. In the book, Vasilisa, and the guests will be safe. They have nothing to fear. I'll protect the wedding. Yeah, you're not really doing very well, mate, so maybe don't try and threaten me. Dun dun. Wait, does he have a buff? No. He's only doing one damage, so I don't really need to worry. Um, Kitang. I know that's gonna be a lot, but. Finish him off. Uh, is that you dead? Oh, that's 12. And that's 8. So maybe I should call Dean V and you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh wait, I also wanna... Is one of these gave bless again? Why did I use my last one? Which one of these did I want to play? Vampirism? Sure. I think that's my only one, but... I wonder if I can overheal like that other person. Because so they've not actually got health out of an amount. They've just got health, whereas I've got a limit. Oh, he's got damage absorption, that's awkward. And then he didn't have damage absorption? Eh, yeah, what? Eh, yeah, what? I see, well... I hurt you, Vasilisa. Not if I don't have to. You've been lying like the devil himself, and now you want me to believe you? I'm just gonna... Parla, parla, parla... And then this one... And then we'll go... Lotion... No, we're gonna save that for next turn, because, uh... He gets his spell back next turn. Turn. Slap. 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 Hello. Uh -huh. He did. Why does haven't got any more blesses? Where are they all at? Nava. Wait, is there more bless here? No, 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 no. Yeah, so Nava, and then we'll go Moon Brother on you, and then we'll go. Uh, no, we won't do that one. Do one so far, yeah, because the refresh. They're not attacking me. Well, shield. And I go, you son of a bitch. George of Father. Nava just did 10 plus 12 and a shield. 
damage absorption. 12 damage? Didn't he just... Yeah, he got summoned. Okay, we'll hit you with the Nava. We'll hit you all with the Pearl Up, 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 Pearl Up. Uh, Circle, Lotion, Double, the Promotion. No one's Curse actually able. It's not going to play the style, but gets rid of the card. Yeah, you hit me. And then you hit me. And then I hit you. And then I hit you. And then I hit you all. Except that one. Oh no, just that one. Shield. 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 Okay, bless. Uh, curse times ten. Egypt and Sea of Death. Okay, you hit me for six. That's fine. And then you shield for ten. That's fine. And then I do my spells. Nava, slay up. One, rally, buff, bless, curse. Reja, slap, hopefully you're dead. Six damage. If the enemy dies, inflict six damage to remaining enemies. Choose a page. Well, you got some evil demon fiend. Alexander's driver notices that his master is weakened and strikes the horses. The carriage drives away. With horror, you realize that his last Zagavers weren't directed at you, but at the procession. The horses lose their footing, and the first carts overturn with a terrible crash. The world around you turns into a cacophony of screams, both animal and human. Oh damn. Are they all possessed? They're wolves. And it's the wolf seal. Our our Alexander's curse hits the weakened wedding procession and slices through it. Some of the wedding guests turn into wolves and run into the forest. Others have lost consciousness or are injured from the crash. You notice old Yegor and run towards him. Several Zagavars later, and your mentor comes to his senses. Grandpa! Grandpa, you're alive? Wishilisa! Oh, Jesus, my head hurts. Wait, I'll whisper a bit. No time. What's happened to the procession? Was it cursed after all? Yes, many of the guests were turned to wolves. So they were. I wasn't seeing straight. I saw how Fedka was turning. I'll get that, Alexander. Oh, but what should we do now? Shush, don't whine. There's no time to think about that lad now. First, we fix the wedding. That's all right. You'll catch the wolves and heal them. Next thing you know, the seal will be broken. How will I find them? Even my chords may not be able to find the cursed. We'll find them. I have this old friend of mine, a hunter. He will track them, find out who's missing, and fix up the wounded. Then we'll get ready for the road. Okay. How did they turn into wolves? No one has heard of such thing for a hundred years or more. Well, your friend there cast a strong curse, and then you were right. Fetchka is not very knowledgeable for a best man. How do I lift the curse? You need special herb. Cuckoo's tears. It grows deep in the forest, in the Leshe's domain. I think this hunter of mine will give you a hand with the herb as well. 
So feet got turned also? Yes, there is his accordion. At first I thought I was seeing things. What do we do with the bride and groom now? They'll manage. I'll teach them a couple of secret prayers. Who's that friend of yours? Just a hunter. I'll tell you at home. We're going back home. Oh, wait, no. I need to help this lady. Your friend, the Ikotnitsa, is lying here. Akulina has lost consciousness. It seems the girl is hurt. Akulina comes to her senses and with difficulty stands on her feet. Oh, Vasa, have you healed me? Akulina, you're alive. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Jesus. She's going to be all right now. Akulina, have you noticed where the wolves went? I have Wasn't she unconscious? I don't remember anything since I fell. I can't see Piotr anywhere. He must have been turned too. Your mother will bring you home. Rest there. All right, Vasa. Oh, new head. Adam's head. Convenient. Thank you, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. I'll pray for you. Did you notice where the wolves ran? Somewhere in the direction of Pokcha. They hid in the forest straight away. I barely had any time to look. I only noticed that several of the bridesmaids turned. The horror. The horror. I've heard of such things, but never thought we'd witness it. Okay. Uh oh oh see. Wait, what about this man? He's laying down. Is he fine? Okay, well I could have clicked on okay, why does it get rid of that? The bravest horse stayed. Ooh, so brave. Peasant the wounded peasant girl is lying in the grass. Looks like she's lost consciousness. Her? The girl thanks you with a weak voice, but then loses her senses again. At least her life isn't at risk. You're welcome. Any of you people need help? No. Nope. Right. Vasilisa, my head is dizzy. Where is Nikolai? I see a wolf. Mm, I can't see him. Listen. He's also been transformed. Oh. I seem to be destined to go return to evil spirits. Don't lose hope. I'll go after him and the rest of the guests. I know I failed at protecting the wedding, but I'll try to fix it. Looks like you were right about Petka. I should have listened to you. He's not the one who ruined the wedding. That was another Kuldun. That's all right. I'll deal with him. As soon as I get Nikolai back, you'll make it to the church. I'll set your life straight. I hope that God will help you, Vasilisa. Who knows? Granddad, let's get out. Need to go back. You can barely stand upright. Uh, let's go. 